Good morning. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. You're so right. <laughs> it is 2 o'clock and we have a party at like 5. Across the street. And we have so much to do, but I woke up stupid late because both Emily and I are dying of congestion and sickness and we both had to take Sudafed. It's been really bad. So we're going to Goldstein right now to get like everything we need for the party because we're cooking a bunch of food go, and then go, we have go, to go to Tops. Go, go. And get the go, cake go, in by go, three. Go, go, it's go. like a stressful time. We'll survive. I'm about to make crabbies, which is like a home like thing that my parents already made, always made me. They're like appetizers. Um, with crab and cheese in them on English muffin. You need this uh, cheese spread, and we went all over Tops looking for it, and finally this one guy like knew what we were talking about. Ben! Ben, <laughs> thank God for Ben, and they didn't have it. So I'm gonna try and substitute, but my dad told me like that's just not possible, but we'll see what happens. Thank you, Nancy, for this amazing recipe. Here is the spread. Mozzarella sticks, marinara sauce, crabbies that I made and dad was wrong, football cake, berries, buffalo chicken wings, vegetables, <laughs> spinach dip, chips, yes. We're on the first commercial break after the game started. The Skylar sisters 
did America the Beautiful and they added Anne Sisterhood in it and it was a very great moment. What part of the Super Bowl are you most excited for? Obviously the halftime show. <laughs> Obviously, why would I even ask? Commercials in the halftime show. I actually like the commercials. When none of us are excited for the actual game. The committee investigates so, the football game. So boo. Yeah. 8 o'clock bachelor night. Always oh, saw you been in the morning. I was like, why are you getting up at that time? <laughs> Have fun. Bye. Bye. So that was that. That was kind of sad, but that was a really good game. And the first time in Super Bowl history there's ever been overtime, which is pretty awesome. And honestly, the first time I've sat through an entire Super Bowl game. Um, it's actually more interesting and entertaining than I thought it would be. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Since I did change majors, I transferred schools. I transferred from a VPA into Newhouse School of Pu Communication, Public Communications. This was my second time trying to transfer and I finally got in. It's not that I didn't love film or still do love film. I just found myself dreading my VPA classes and I felt like that wasn't something I should really be doing. Like if I'm in a major, I feel like I should be interested in going to class and it wasn't that I was just dreading going to class like normal people. Like I get it, like you dread to go to class. Literally every single class I was just like, I really don't want to go. I really don't want to show this work. I It was just absolute dread like not dreading the work or anything like just dreading the actual experience which I feel like is not really how it should be um and I took a new house class while I was in VPA and during our PR study section um I had a really great time and I thought PR was really interesting so I just decided I would try this was the last time I could try transferring so I decided I would try three times to transfer and if I didn't get in I didn't get in and um, that's just how it's meant to be, but I got in the second time, and I am really happy, um, with all my classes, and I really enjoy going and learning, um, but that doesn't diminish how much I enjoy film still, um, it's something I want to do on the side, and I've already agreed to work on two shoots for VPA students, like, some of my friends from VPA, I still am, like, working on their shoots, because I love doing that, um, I just feel a lot happier where I am, so I decided... I should try and still do a lot of film work just on my own basis and terms and creatively on my YouTube channel. So yeah, here we are and I really enjoy vlogs which is like because I like keeping my moments fresh and in my mind and going back and watching them like years from now so can't wait to come back and watch the Super Bowl 51 vlog <laughs> 10 years from now. Good night. Yep, same.